You don't know, eh? It's a OVO thing, eh? You don't know, eh? It's a Eastside thing, eh? You don't know, eh? More life. Really? What is up, everybody? This is Geek of Sneakers, aka Geek of Sneaks, aka Geek, aka G O S. And today we have another video on sneakers you could buy for under $150. The first shoes that we have are Vans. Now, Vans is not a bad. It's not a bad shoe to have in the collection. Like I need some. I need a pair of Vans in the collection. Like I'm freaking slacking. You have different models like the Skate High, the Authentics. Um, what else? The Slip Ons. I think most would agree that the most popular Vans are the Skate High and the Authentics. The Skate High go for between sixty-five and seventy-five dollars, and Authentics usually go for fifty dollars. But there are some that usually go for maybe around 55 to 65 dollars me personally i like the authentics the most but like i said any pair of vans would be good to wear and to have in the collection next up we have converse and as most of you guys will probably know converse has two main models that are really popular the chuck taylor low tops and the chuck taylor high tops the high tops go for 55 dollars while the low tops go for 50. i personally like the low tops better and there's regular colors like black, white, and red that you could get for $55 or $50 depending on which model you get. But there are also different designs that go for more than $50 or $55 that are on the screen right now. Like I said with the Vans, it is a cool shoe to have in the collection and a cool shoe to have that's for cheap. The next shoe we... Next up, we have Air Force Ones. Ain't nothing wrong with having a classic pair of OB OBOs. A classic pair of Air Force Ones in the collection. You have the low tops that are 90, and then you have the mid tops that are 95, and the high tops, which I personally do not like, but those go for 100. Other than the Special Force Air Force Ones that came out that some of you probably heard about, or probably know about. The only Air Force Ones that I'd buy are a black or a white pair and a high, uh, no, definitely not a high, and a mid or a low pair. I like the other colorways that you could buy, but I personally wouldn't rock them. I already have a pair of mid white Air Force Ones in my collection and I do not regret Regret? And I do not regret buying them, man. I'm so glad I have it in the collection. The fourth brand that you could buy from is Saucony. A pair of Saucony grids and shadows would be nice to have. There are different versions of the shadows, like the Shadow 5000s, the 6000s, and the 9000s. And you have different versions of the grid 9000s, the grid 8000s, and the grid, I think, SDs. Saucony shoes, or the ones that I've seen, go for between I think 50 and 130 dollars. I personally do not have a pair of Saucony's but I do want one and hopefully I do get one in the near future. Fifth shoe is the Nike Hair Hair? The Nike Air Hirachis. Hirachis can range between I think maybe 110 to 130 but the most common model that is on the screen above is worth 110 dollars these i also do not have but i wouldn't regret buying in the future nothing else really to say about these i mean to me in my opinion it would be nice to have and it's one of if not my favorite nike shoe on the market right now next up Next up, we have the Adidas Stan Smiths. These are the ultimate classic Adidas shoe. They go for between $60 to $75, and I personally like them, but it's sort of not my style. But they are a really nice shoe that go for a really affordable price, in my opinion. And little side note, I heard that Pharrell is having another human race shoe that's coming out, possibly, that's based on the Stan Smiths. And to me, they look dope as hell. That's enough of the sneaker news for now. Next up, we have the Adidas Tubular... Next up, we have the Adidas Tubular Shadows. Now, I know a lot of people call these the knockoff Yeezys and make fun of it. Look. Don't let other people's view of the shoe tell you how it looks. I wouldn't mind buying a pair and it would be... 
and it would be nice for someone that can't afford Yeezys or just want that Yeezy look. The shadows I see on Foot Locker and Champs and Finish Line and others, they go for $110. And for that price, I think it's a really good deal for a really dope shoe. The final shoe that we have are the Adidas NMD. The normal easy to get colorways that are the normal easy to get colorways that are out right now that you could buy online go for I think $130. You have the regular ones that cost $130. The XR1 version of the shoe costs exactly $150. And the Prime Knit NMDs go for a little over budget of this video at $170. In my opinion, one of the best looking Adidas shoe on the market right now. But that is it for the video. I hope you guys found it informational and helpful. Um, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you hit the notification bell to be notified every time I post a new video. And join the notification gang. You guys can follow me on Twitter and IG at geekofsneak underscore. Make sure you keep rocking with your boy. And yeah, man, this has been... Damn, I almost got it all the way through. This has been Harry, a.k.a. Geek of Sneakers, a.k.a. Geek of Sneaks, a.k.a. Geek, a.k.a. G-O-S. You guys have a nice afternoon, night, again with this You guys have a nice morning, night, afternoon, whatever time you're watching this. I'm out. Peace. You don't know, eh?